What's up you guys, it's Adana. welcome back to my channel. So as many of you know, I started my first job as a trauma PA, um, and as promised, I will be coming to you guys every day this week with updates of how my first week on the job has gone. So that is what we're starting off with today. This is day one of me being on the job. So go ahead and hit that like button because it's gonna help my channel out a lot So please do that and if you really like what you see after watching this video go ahead and hit that notification bell So I started my first job um, today and it was quite interesting to say the least. So I, it was very nerve wracking initially, like just kind of walking in and no, I did not look like this. I kind of more so looked like this. That is how I looked really all day. Uh, you, There were no visitors at all allowed in the hospital because of um, coronavirus that's currently you know, happening around the world. And so because of that, the hospital was pretty like, quiet in terms of not many people walking back and forth. So it was kind of eerie, honestly, walking in to an empty hallway. But after you kind of get over that shock, it's a matter of you have to have your mask on at all times. So that was like the first kind of stick of shock thing that came in where you're like, oh man, like this is not you know, this is not typical. And so I did that, I came in, um, I had to go up to where like the call rooms were so that we can uh, talk to our hiring manager, the person that hired us. Uh, I was there with another PA that just got hired on and we were filling out like our information for our scrubs and stuff and just kind of going back and forth and getting through like the logistics stuff. And then we were taken to the call room where the PAs were giving sign out and um, that's kind of where everything began. So we were introduced and it was cool, you know, just kind of seeing some of the people that I saw on my rotation. That was actually like a really cool thing. And it was also pretty cool that they kind of still remembered me, which because I mean, I rotated on that service almost two years ago. So it was actually like nice that I made a lasting impression hopefully a good one, right? But we went through a sign out and then I had to go, we had to go to like the trauma office where we got another sign out and then we went down to get breakfast and breakfast was free. It's free for the physicians and the PAs and so that was cool. You know, you don't have to pay for breakfast or lunch. So that was a nice perk, um, ate breakfast and then we went on our business in terms of just kind of seeing the patients that we heard about in sign out, you know, checking on them, making sure that they're okay. There were no like overnight events. Uh, and this is day one, you guys, you know, like I'm, I'm literally, this is like three hours into me arriving at seven to start my 12 hour shift. So I did, I, I don't know if you remember, but I did say that it was a 24 hour shift job. So it's 24 hours, 7A one morning to 7A the next morning. But in this like 90 day probationary training, getting to know the hospital and the computer system um, period that I will be in, we're working 12 hour shifts. So we were working three 12s uh, a week. So uh, I started my shift at seven and yeah, already like I'm there like shadowing and kind of seeing patients. And it was really, it was so cool because you're like, oh my gosh, like I'm a real live PA. <laughs> Like I made it, but then at the same time, you're like, oh man, like this, it's me, you know, although it's not on you yet, like you're, that's what it's working up to be. So it was pretty interesting because I had moments throughout the day where, um, I felt like validated, like, yes, you know, you're supposed to be here. You graduated, you're certified, you made it through PA school, like, you know, a lot. And then I had like moments where I'm like, what like what the freak did you learn these last two and a half years because everything just kind of hits you all at once and it's not necessarily that the disease processes or the procedures were things that i were unfamiliar with but just you know in not being in a work environment or this type of work environment in a long time and just really for the past how many ever months that i've been out of school it's just kind of like getting back into the swing of things so so obviously as I continue to go to work and get more experience, like some of these things are going to be second nature to me. But right now it was, it was a little bit like, oh, okay. Yeah. I heard that one. I remember this, but 
Like, what did you learn while you were in PA school? Apart from that, like, um, throughout the rest of the day, you know, we got introduced to the various different surgeons that we would be working with on, uh, you know, any given moment that we may be on um, the service. And then we went back to the call room just to kind of go through the computer system because although we got like a crash course in the computer system, you know, when you're actually in there and you're like seeing patients and you're putting in orders, that's a completely different thing. So my, the, the head trauma PA, she was giving us like a, a little bit of a crash course herself in the computer system. And that was pretty, it was cool. Uh, then we had to like just kind of go and do some other little random things, you know, because it was our first day. So getting our parking passes and things like that. So it was a pretty quiet morning. And then all of a sudden at like 11 o'clock, things just kind of went left, right? So, you know, one of the surgeons came down, they were like, so you guys are new PAs, right? And we're like, yeah, we're new, we're new PAs. He's like, not students, but PAs. We're like, yeah. He's like, come with me. And so we're like, okay. So we went with him and we were like, we were went to see a patient with him and we were debriding a wound and, you know, taking, removing stitches and removing a G-tube and things like that, which is cool, you know, like, it's the first day and sure, I'll take this tube out. Sure, I'll, you know, remove these stitches. So that was cool, you know, just kind of getting hands on already, like day one, four or five hours into my first job. Then after that, there was lots, like it was like two calls for level two traumas off the bat. And so, you know, we went downstairs to see what was going on. You'd think like, all right, so, it's the coronavirus time, so people are not really like out and about doing, you know, things and like, you know, kind of silly things, but they still were. And so I had some like silly people moments in this whole situation, but um, still very badly hurt. And so, you know, we're there, we're like all masked up, gowned up because. You have no idea who's coming in. You don't know if they're COVID positive or not. And so you just have to protect yourself. So although we have to protect ourselves, we still have to take care of the patient. So there was a lot of like just, you know, still continuing on with the regular movements of what a trauma PA would do in terms of the assessment and looking at their GCS and all of that stuff. But at the same time, being acutely aware that, hey, you know what, we are in a completely different climate. So we absolutely have to keep ourselves safe. Uh, so that was that. Um, I got to actually like write my first note as a full fledged PAC, you know, and sign it. And I saw my name on there, which was pretty cool. I made quite a few mistakes on that. I like charted on the wrong person initially, and I had to like go fix that, like delete everything that I did on that, and then like put it in the right chart. Um, luckily, you know, I didn't make any like significant changes where I couldn't fix that, but. Now I will never do that again. And so that was a very good sharp learning curve, but it was something that I will obviously remember like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, continue to make sure that you are in the right chart, which seems like common sense, but when you're like just in this moment, it's, it's not as common as you would think. But I did that and I, I wrote my note and I signed off to the PA and I was at the other PA that I was with and I was, I felt good, you know? So although like it was really, just this moment of, oh my gosh, like what the freak is going on? Like I'm here, this is my first day. It, it felt good to be helping, to be a part of everything, to be part of the team, you know, this new team, um, this acute care team as a trauma general surgery PA. So I felt good about that, you guys. I was extremely, extremely exhausted and like really sore, like still sore. Uh, cause I chose not to use the elevator. So I wanted to like use the stairs, which, you know, you're walking around, you're standing like a large majority of the day and stuff. So just trying to like, kind of get like as much exercising in as you can while you're, um, you know, on the job. Uh, but you know, you're doing a lot of like rolling and pulling and pushing and, um, you know, lifting patients from, you know, one side of the bed to the next. And obviously, yeah, you do have help but you're using all of these other muscles. So like my shoulder muscles are a little sore and you know, my back was a little bit sore, but um, just understanding like how to maneuver yourself and you know, make sure that you're safe 
in terms of like those type of precautions is essential as well, which is something that I, I became really aware of. So it was an interesting day. I left later than my 12 hours, which was fine because I was getting experience. But you know, ultimately, uh, I'm excited to see like what God has in store for me. I'm excited to see, you know, some more crazy trauma cases. And um, I'm excited to tell you guys more about it. But that was my first day, you guys. It was kind of like pretty low for the first half and then got really crazy. Saw maybe like four or five trauma cases just in a matter of like literally like four hours um, in the afternoon and of itself. And then like a near miss trauma. So we thought it was a trauma, but it really was more so a medical case. So it was pretty cool um, just kind of going through that and, and understanding that. And obviously there's more that I'm gonna have to learn in terms of like, all right, so who do I call for this? Like, who do I, how do I admit, you know, the patient with, you know, to the floor or whatever? Who, who, who decides that? You know, is that something that I have to consult with? Like, who's on for the, you know, plastic surgery consult or the ortho consult? So, like, just understanding, like, the dynamics of the hospital is also going to be a pretty interesting learning curve, but... I'm, I'm here for it, you guys. I'm ready for it. So that was day one. Can't wait to share with you what my day two is gonna look like. If you really like this video and you wanna hear more about, you know, my days as a trauma PA and just kind of like maybe some more kind of like specific things, please leave that in the comment section below. That will help um, this channel will continue to grow as well. Um, please like this video and follow me on Instagram at Adana PA. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again for just rooting for me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I will talk to you guys next time.